Evening guys, it's time for a brew again and today is the start of the challenge it's the Woodford's Wherry versus St Peter's Ruby Red I've got both kits I've got a commercial bottle of Ruby Red to butt up against it and I'm told from the breweries that I'm getting a bottle of Wherry and some glasses with St Peter's and Wherry on them sent to me so I can do the two kits and two commercial beers in one. Um, I'm brewing the Wherry up first and once that's done I'll keg it and brew up the St Peter's and can keg that and then we'll do the review. So the reviews are probably not going to be probably till December time. I want to give them a chance to age in the keg, um, condition properly, etc, etc. And I'm using, as I did those years ago, the kit yeast premium DPB only six grams of yeast for a double kit maybe that's why it was so sweet because I always I found this to be sweet when I first brewed it we'll find out so I've got the can sitting in some boiling water fermenter is in there in the bathroom being sanitized with the spoon etc so I'm just going to do a quick bit of footage because you've all seen a two can kit before of brewing up the kit and I'll do the same for the St Peter's and we'll combine this all together I'll send the video out and then we'll do the tastings later on so cheers guys see you soon right guys here we go sanitized fermenter two cans of malt extract uh, which are hot. Two cans opened. Cool, there's a familiar smell from way back when. Let's pour these in. I have boiled the kettle to rinse these out. This was my first ever brew some four years ago. Let's rinse those out. Well, you can stir that first one very well, if at all. So I may go back and do that, pour this one into it. That's better. Must stir them guys. Get all that goodness out. Right. You're probably steamed up. But it's nice and clean. I'll come back. When I'm fin topping it up with cold water. Right, guys, kettle's boiled for 
moment set is in. Top it up with some cold water. Normally I short brew kit, especially the one can kits, to 20 litres. I'm not going to do that in this case, I don't think. Hmm, I may, I'll see. Plenty of aeration in there. That is on the 20 litre mark. I'm going to do it to 20 litres because just remembered. I'm going to be kegging this, so the keg holds 19 litres. I'll lose a little bit during fermentation with tube, etc. Just uh, make sure everything's mixed in. Take that out for a second. I wish they'd make these spoons so that they don't bend. Just get a metal one really for doing kits. Stainless steel. Temperatures at 78 degrees. It's not too bad. Right, it's all stirred in. Time to pitch the yeast. Sanitise scissors and pack it. I'm staggered. It's only a six gram. I don't remember it being six gram before, but I was a newbie then, so. Just gonna leave that to sit on the top. Sanitise there, look. Put some star sand in that and we are done. First part of the challenge. Cheers guys.